guys, it's Alyssa. Um, today is Easter Sunday. I might actually try to do like a longer um, actual vlog kind of thing. Sorry, I'm having to hold this old school style this morning. Um, we got up really early to go to the, not the sunrise, but like the next earliest um, service at the church. And so I'm still kind of out of it. You can obviously tell I'm tired. I didn't even have time to finish putting on my makeup because when we got up, we thought it started at 7.30, but it started at 7. Thank goodness we checked, and so we ended up being kind of late. But I just wanted to say Happy Easter if I don't do another vlog today. And um, this morning when we got to church late, we drove separately, so Andrew ended up sitting in the back by himself, and then I got there just a few minutes after, and it was already full, so I had to sit on the whole other opposite end of the church with some people I didn't know. Thankfully, they were really nice, but um, it was just kind of funny. It was typical. And then afterwards, we went to McDonald's um, because all the other restaurants here are already like packed with reservations or people coming in to eat um, Easter meal with their family and stuff, but there was a really angry um, homeless guy there. I'm not exactly sure what was going on with him, but he was mad because like one of the lines wasn't open and he kept brushing up against me and like brushing his hand up against my butt. I don't think he was, I mean, maybe he was aware of it. I don't know. It was really weird. And so I wasn't um, like annoyed or anything, but I was kind of just like, really? Like this is how Easter's gonna be? And about that time, um, part of a gospel choir that is at a church here in Roanoke. And I don't, um, I always feel like bad saying black gospel choir because I don't ever want to come across like I'm being racist, but um, they were, you know, what you would typically refer to as a black gospel choir. And they had the most beautiful outfits. They had these black um, kind of, they were almost like a dress instead of a robe. And then they had a, like a gold sheath down the front and the back, but they were beautiful. And they came in and I just saw them like laughing and they were buying those um, Mick Cafe, kind of like the McDonald's version of the Frappuccino. Um, and they just looked like they were so excited to be up on Easter Sunday and singing for God and stuff. And it kind of just reminded me, um, you know, whether you're religious or not is not, you know, really the point of this video. But it just kind of reminds me that God has a funny sense of humor sometimes. <laughs> and, um, you know, for those of us that do believe in God, like the whole, you know, obviously the whole point of Easter is that he kind of had the last laugh on Satan and the people that persecuted him by rising from the dead and everything. Um, but I'm not, like, trying to preach or anything. I'm just telling you that's, you know, what we believe. And it was just funny to me because this morning was kind of a reminder that sometimes... Um, he gets the last laugh and you just kind of have to roll with it. And the lesson to be learned on a secular level is like stuff happens. Sometimes you just got to laugh about it. Um, but anyway, hope you're having a good Easter. I think, I don't know what we're going to try to do today, maybe fish or something, but I might try to do a vlog from that. But anyway, just wanted to say happy Easter and there's Webster. I, um, <laughs> he's conked out. We stayed up too late. I had an Easter party Friday and as you can see, like in the background, there's still, some crap out from where we're in recovery mode, but I hope you have a wonderful Easter no matter what you believe or who you worship or anything like that. I hope it's a good one and I will talk to you um, tomorrow. Bye.